Hello, long time no see. It has been, I don't know how long it's been, but it has been a while since I last posted a video on YouTube. So hello, hi, how are you? I'm Becca, if you're new here, I waffle on about, who knows, a little bit of everything, but it's nice to meet you if you're new. Say hello in the comments and let me explain where I have been for a few months. So as some of you might have seen in my previous videos, all of the backdrops are different. I never really had the same backdrop sort of two or three times and that was because I was living essentially in Airbnbs for a year. I will make a whole other video on that later but for now let me tell you where I am. At the beginning of last year, I moved to a new place, somewhere I had never been particularly, and then the cost of living crisis happened. I was in a very, very lucky position to have the option to go back home. My room at my parents is teeny tiny, but I love it. It was a bit stressful to start with, but I got to spend some time with my parents and, Overall, the experience was okay, but I craved that independence that you don't get when you're at home, and that's no fault of anybody, except when you're used to living alone or living away from your parents, you do have a different persona, I think, than when you live at home. You sort of retreat back into your younger self a little bit, get a little bit lazy, especially when it comes to cooking for yourself, cleaning, etc. I am very lucky to have two very supportive parents so when I moved back they just wanted to support me and they were incredible in doing so but I ended up also living in Airbnbs for a little while which I keep mentioning which I'm doing another video on shortly so I will go into more detail about that soon. I basically spent the year deciding where I wanted to live full time and whether I wanted to live in a city, in a town. And so I decided to move to a city that is very unique. Can you hear the seagulls? <laughs> that was perfect timing. <laughs> I have moved to Brighton and um, for those of you who don't know Brighton is a seaside city in the south of England and it is unique um, to say the least. It is a very very creative city and there is a lot going for it. Obviously there's the sea, there is a huge artistic community in which I hope to be part of very very soon. What I like about Brighton is the fact that you can stand out or blend in as much as you want. If you're feeling a little bit confident, a little bit out there, one day you can be as loud and as extravagant and as unique as you want to be. However, if you just want to pop up the shop and not put any makeup on and rock up to co-op in your pyjamas, nobody cares. <laughs> I mean, I would care a little bit if I did that because my pyjamas have foxes on them and they're really soft and I wouldn't want to go outside in my pyjamas. That's beside the point. So I have moved into what is essentially my dream home. <laughs> and that is a bold statement, but I absolutely adore this house. It is très magnifique. I have been in a state of complete gratitude and bliss, I think, for the past few weeks because we all know I have been through some things in the past few years and to see where I am now um, which I haven't done on my own, I've had a lot of help from a lot of people, I just feel this sense of finally I can breathe in and breathe out and everything's okay. That isn't to say it's always going to be like that, there are obviously going to be bumps in the road, we all know that, but for the past few weeks I have just been soaking up this new atmosphere, being grateful that I can see the sea every day, and just taking in this gorgeous house that I have been incredibly fortunate enough to move into. I don't want this video to become some sort of boasting video. There are obviously aspects to take into account when you move to a new city. I don't know anybody. There are a few people I know 
moved here after I left school, which was quite a while ago, so I no longer know those people, probably. I mean, I might recognise them if I pass them in the street and wave. So it can be very isolating and as I have social anxiety, it can be difficult to meet people but I am determined, determined, absolutely determined to not let it stop me and give myself the opportunity to be a new person in this city that allows for anybody to be themselves. I cannot wait to show you a bit more of this city and I cannot wait to take you on some incredible journeys I hope to go on this year. Thank you so much for all bearing with me while I've been moving and for generally just being lovely human beings. I would really love to hear if any of you have ever moved to a new city in the comments below and perhaps any advice you have on making new friends or solidifying yourself in the community. I will keep saying thank you until I'm blue in the face, but I really mean it. I cannot wait to show you the house and just generally take you on a little journey through my life. So thank you very much. Again, nice to meet you if you're new. Hello, welcome back if you're not, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.